Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Trendmasters Mogira. Now, this version of Mogira comes from the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, which, to me, I feel like is a little overrated. It's not a terrible movie by any means. It's not even a terrible Godzilla movie, it's just not my favorite, you know? Because the monsters that are in the movie... I'm not really the biggest fan of, if I'm going to be honest, you know. You know, of course, you know, Godzilla, you know, he's always going to be the best part of the movie. Um, little Godzilla, I feel like, well, I don't hate little Godzilla, but I'm not really a big fan of the whole Godzilla having a son concept. To me, that just feels a little, eh, but, yeah, I feel like Godzilla vs. Destroy got it right, but, yeah, but... Mogira, I don't know, I was just never the big, you know, the biggest fan of Mogira. Um, he j he's just a dumber looking version of Mechagodzilla, so I'm not really the biggest fan of Mogira. Also, you know, he's not awful, you know. Compared to Space Godzilla, he's not awful in my books. Space Godzilla, I just think is unnecessary. I just think Space Godzilla is just really stupid, you know? Because to me, it's just Godzilla with crystals on his shoulders, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, he has different powers and all that, but again, Space Godzilla to me just feels very pointless and very unnecessary, so yeah, definitely not the biggest fan of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, you know? It's not a bad movie, but it's definitely not a great one either, so yeah. And if you like Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, or if you like Space Godzilla as a whole, good for you. You know, I'm glad you can find enjoyment out of something that I don't. But, yeah, I just think the movie is kind of, eh. But, anyway, that's just me. Let's take a look at the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure is actually not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. So, yeah. So, starting off with the body, most of it is a metallic color, which looks nice. However, on mine, there are a lot of scuff marks, so, yeah, that's one thing worth pointing out. I actually got mine at a fair for, like, two bucks, so I can forgive the quality of this figure, so, yeah. Also, we do have bits of blue on the feet, shins, hips, crotch, chest, shoulders, and neck. His hands and nose, they are painted a grayish color which looks all right and the eyes are painted yellow so yeah and that about does it for the paint not perfect I'm not gonna lie but still not awful so the paint it gets a pass and a half now I'll take a look at the articulation there is none so we're just gonna jump right into the sculpt and the sculpting on this figure is actually not bad Compared to a lot of the other Trendmasters Godzilla figures, this one is definitely one of the most accurate in terms of sculpts, at least out of the ones that I have. There are some minor things that are inaccurate. I feel like the legs are off, and I feel like the face is a little bit too elongated, but other than that, the sculpting on this figure looks very nice. Also, mine doesn't have a tail, so yeah, that's something worth pointing out. But again, the sculpting on this figure is not terrible, so it gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing, again, not the best. So, yeah, anyway, taking a look at the head. The mechanical detailing looks all right. Um, the, you know, neck looks all right. The upper torso looks decent. The arms are actually detailed very nicely. So, yeah, I like how the arms look, as well as the hands. They look nice, too. The hips are actually detailed pretty decently, and the legs look alright as well. And the tail, well, mine doesn't have a tail, so, yeah. But, the rest of the detailing here looks decent at best, so, yeah. And that about does it for the detailing on this figure. Again, it's not the best. It's not great, but it's not terrible either, so, it gets a pass and a half, so, at the end of the day, should you get this? I mean, if you're a fan of, like, the old Trendmasters figures, then I'd say go for it. This is one of my favorite, you know, one of my favorites out of the ones that I own, but this figure is still not the best. So, 
Yeah. Um, I like it more than Mecha King Ghidorah, however, I still feel like out of the ones I own, Godzilla is still my favorite, so, yeah. I personally wouldn't go out of my way to collect a lot of these old Trendmasters figures, but, yeah. If I find one at a flea market or something for a low price, I'll pick it up, but, yeah. Anyway, if you want to know how big this figure is, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. I believe you can get this figure online for about, like, five or ten bucks for not a bad price at all so i guess if you want you can go for it again i personally wouldn't rush to get these if i again as i just said um if i ever find these at a flea market for like cheap i'll get them but yeah i think as of right now you know like in terms of like getting them on my own probably not but that's just me but yeah anyway that is it for today have a great rest of your week and i will see you in the next video peace zek out